Eric Coakley, and together we are Whale Pants. We're going to give you guys what we think are our five most helpful stroke saving tips from my perspective and my perspective. My first tip is making sure that your footing uh, behind your lie or even on the tee pad is good um, and deciding whether or not you want to throw a standstill if your footing is compromised. Uh, for me, if I don't check my footing and I slip or if I'm running up a slope and didn't realize that that was going to affect my shot, um, I can easily gain a stroke or two because I didn't make sure that my footing was, was good. Um, so for me, that would mean if I'm on an uphill slope and I can't get a good run up, that I will decide on a standstill. And usually for me, that means I have to power down. So I'll even change my disc to something more understable or stable instead of something I have to throw very hard that I know I won't be able to have the right footing for. My second tip is just being prepared. Uh, that can mean a lot of things for a lot of people, but for me, I'm talking about making sure you have towels, hand warmers in the winter, uh, plug, but whale sacks, something that will dry your hands if it's humid or if you're just sweaty or if it's raining, uh, something that'll help you with your grip. Um, and then also making sure you have extra discs if you're playing a water course. So just making sure that you have everything you need before you go into a round just in case something goes wrong or something changes. Um, I know Eric had a tournament recently and he didn't have an umbrella and it downpoured in the middle of the round. So making sure you prepare for that just in case because that can save you a ton of strokes if you just had that extra towel or uh, something to dry your hands with. Number three for saving strokes, I think, is just making sure that you're focused and walking away and resetting if you're not. Um, Eric and I both preach in our clinics all the time that that is a really good way to save strokes, especially when you're putting. Um, if you're standing up to a putt and you're not sure you're going to make it, literally just walk away from your lie until you are in that mindset that you're going to make it, you're going to commit. And same with on the tee pad. If you are in the wrong mental mindset, don't throw the shot. Um, it's just all about letting yourself be focused and checking yourself to make sure you're giving yourself a chance to refocus if you're not. Um, it's something you have to kind of train your brain how to do to just get in your own mind to make sure that you're in a good spot to throw each shot like you wanted to. Number four for me is simply having a sidearm. Um, I really truly believe that even having a little bit of a sidearm having just some touch shots or a putter shot can save you a ton of strokes um, especially on wooded courses maybe not so much for open courses but I think that if you are able to see your line the whole time that you're throwing you're gonna benefit a lot more in the woods if you can just see that shot plus when you're scrambling and you're stuck in the trees just having a sidearm where you can reach out and hit a line just to get out of the stuff instead of having to try to throw an awkward backward shot. Um, I really think in the long run having that versatile extra opposite side uh, will really help and save strokes for you. Number five is commit, commit, commit. I know that seems simple and it seems like an obvious no-brainer but it really does completely change your game when you can look at a line, look at a shot and not have anything other than your mind than the exact shot that you want to throw. Um, if you can get to a point in your game that you can cancel out all the don't do this, don't do that, and just stop being afraid of what might happen, um, if you can commit to every shot, you're going to save more strokes than anything else, any other advice we can give you. My first tip for saving strokes is going to be looking for every shot. So whenever you're in a troublesome spot or even on the tee, look around, see what your options are and start to weigh those options. Find the best shot for you. Some days your best shot is a sidearm and some days your best shot is a backhand. So understanding where you're at in your game on the day or on the week or at the tournament and also understanding what shot is gonna get you the best score. So take a look around, save you some strokes. So the second tip is understanding when to lay up. Knowing when you should be aggressive and when you shouldn't be. Sometimes that comes from preparing for the course, but that can go from being on the green. There are times where you have to swallow your pride and lay up that 25 footer because you know that that score is a good score no matter what you did. So 
pick and choose, understand where your game is at, and choose the right times to lay up. So my third tip, I mentioned it a little bit in my first tip, but we're gonna talk about it a little bit more because playing to your strengths on the day is, is really, really important. So understanding where you wanna be. Um, do you want that 15 footer on the tailwind putt because that's where you feel comfortable? Play your strengths on the day. If you're feeling like your sidearm just isn't there, find that turnover line or that straight shot or a shot that you can throw that you feel comfortable. So being able to understand and recognize where your strengths are will really help you save some strokes. So the fourth tip is kind of a no-brainer. It's knowing the course, knowing where you want to be, knowing where you don't want to be. And that's when you start to ev evaluate and choose the best shot to put you in the best spot. So getting to a course early and getting some practice. And if you don't have that time, go walk the course see the lines, look from the basket back, understand where the trees actually do come in play and they don't, and where the OB is and where it isn't. And understanding on some shots where, man, I could be aggressive or I could lay up short to this spot and I have this really comfortable felon hyzer that I like to throw and that's where I need to be. So I'm gonna throw the shot that gets me there. So know the course so you can save some strokes. One of the best things you can do, and this is my fifth tip, and I think it's huge, is playing from your worst shot in practice. Put yourself in that mindset where you're having to scramble. Put yourself in the mindset of, I just threw out of bounds, I have to throw a second tee shot. So now how do you, how do you recover? Especially we're out here getting ready for USDGC, that is incredibly crucial because sometimes if you throw out of bounds, it's a re-tee. So understanding what's your best option, understanding how to scramble, what shots can you throw? Are you comfortable with forehand rollers? Are you comfortable with overhands? Are you comfortable with just laying up and pitching out? Making sure you understand where the worst spots are on the course will help you save strokes a lot because you understand, man, I really don't wanna be there, but if I am there, this is probably the best score I can take, so I'm gonna play it smart and get myself up and down. Thanks for watching. We hope these tips help you save some strokes on your next tournament. Please like and subscribe to Whale Pants on Facebook and YouTube. Um, also, let us know what videos you want to watch. We want to help you guys get better with every video we put out. But help us help you. As always, be, be dynamic. dynamic.